It's 3.35 a.m. It's been a horrible day and a horrible night. Can't breathe in here. And opening the door and letting the fan take the air out, it's not helping. You know, my cat usually lays on the bed with me. But you know, when he goes under the bed and lays down there, mm -mm. you know, he's having a hard time too. You know, he tries to stay, stay in with me. He hangs there. He's my little buddy. But when it gets too hard, he goes in the cupboard or lays on the floor when it's too hot or he can't breathe either. A little cat. He ain't so little. He's a big cat. <laughs> but, um, oh, God. These people never take a break. They never take a break from me. You know, they need to get a better hobby. Because obsession is not good. I mean, they're on it 24-7. You know, I go out to the balcony and get some air. And it's quiet. You know, I could remember when over here, you know, on a Friday night, you know, it was normal. You know, you'd see people walking around, people outside drinking, sitting on their porches, you know. Um, but it's kind of creepy. And it's been kind of creepy, creepy quiet for years now. You know, there's a couple pe other people that noticed it too, you know, and they tried to say it was the building and that there's bad spirits in here and stuff, but no, that's not it, you know, and everybody that was like my friend and stuff moved out and they suggested I do the same, but I'm still here, you know, I mean, I've had, I've had opportunities to move. But at that moment, you know, it's going to go on 16 years I've been here. December 15th, 2005, I moved here. But you know what? I was made for this. I'm not going to turn tail and run. I will die here. It's okay. You know, I've made up my mind. You know, they want to make you homeless. Or deem you as crazy so nobody will listen to your truth. Or turn you into a drug addict. Put you in prison. Or make you commit suicide. That's their ultimate goal. I don't believe in suicide. I've told you guys before, this world is only temporary. You commit suicide, you're in hell forever. You know, people say it's hell on earth, but they don't know because they've never went to hell and came back to tell about it. You get me? You know, I have a bad headache right now. My head feels freaking tight. My spine hurts. You know, I can tell my grill, the broadcasting radiation anyways. You know, and behind, behind the hum of the refrigerator, there's always a really high-pitched tone. You know, I'm sure a lot of people can't hear it. You know, sometimes I put on that, um, what is it, 432HZ, or music that is done with it, and it makes you feel a little bit better. Because, you know, they try to fuck up your frequencies. Fook up your frequencies. And you know, they're torturing you. And they're killing you. Slowly but painfully. <clears throat> yeah, it seems like, you know, I get no sleep over here. I mean, good sleep. There's a difference between good sleep and bad sleep. You know, when you're waking up 24-7 and you're only sleeping in the daytime because you can't freaking breathe. 
you know, and it's not hot in here when it should be hot in here. You know, if you close your door and don't let the sun in and, you know, my window's covered up and stuff, you know, it should be nice and cool. You let some air in through the front door. But it's gotten, getting hot and without air at later times in the evening when it's cool out there. So, yeah. Mm. I feel like crap, but you know what? It'll get better because I'm not, I'm used to not sleeping. You know, this pulling me out of my sleep and the pain and stuff like that. You know, I'm used to it. You know, lack of sleep does not make me angry. <laughs> it doesn't. But it's pretty weird that I can go anywhere else. Like with one of my home team, you know, that I grew up with and stuff like that. And I could sleep on their couch and I get the best sleep. You know, I could go up to San Diego and, you know, go with one of my home team. Home team is um, people from where, we, where you were born, where you grew up, you know, from your neighborhood. But, you know, it turned into more than just a gang, you know, it turned into family, you know, and they're my brothers, you know, because let's face it, since the accident, I'm not on a level playing field anymore, me being the only female, you know, um, <laughs> they're really good guys and they help me out when they can. You know, I don't ask them, but they do help me out. You know, everything from, you know, if I'm hungry as hell, taking me out to eat or giving me a laugh and making me feel comfortable, you know, around seeing a familiar face. You know, somebody that I know loves me and accepts me no matter what to, you know, Taking me to TJ, which I haven't been for a long time. I love TJ. But um, I sleep well <laughs> at my home team's house in San Diego. Right on the couch. The couch is the most comfortable place. You know, I could sleep in the truck over there. When I'm with a home team, I could sleep in the truck. I could sleep with people walking around, you know, because I know them. And I feel secure with them. You know, I mean, I'm not scared around here. But look at what's happening to me. Look what's happening to me. And I'm not welcome here. I mean, people smile. And strangers come up to me and do weird shit. You know, but I'm not welcome here. And I know it. And I don't have a good sleep here. Because they torture me. And they covertly kill me with their EMF broadcasting radiation constantly. It's like they never take a break, even on holidays. Even on holidays. You would think somebody in these gang stalking <laughs> domestic terrorists would take a fucking break. Fucking. But they don't. And they don't let you be. They won't let you have a few days to, like, recoup, clean up your place, feel better. And now they're taking my air. Oh, God. Now they're taking my air. And you know what? I hear them 24-7. When I wake up, they're there. And it sucks. But it seems like... When they got people that I don't know, or guests and stuff, they kind of are less hard on me. They're not giving me shocks and the normal stuff to where it's really freaking crazy. But as I make this, 
they listen to me because, let's face it, you know, there's something special about us. There's something special about us that we have. You know, we have, a hum we have human qualities. We're empaths. And you know what? We won't sell those, those qualities out for the new world order. You know, I'll continue to be human. And I'll continue to cry. And I'll continue to feel. And I would never do this to another human being. But let's face it. Us TIs are a lot more human, aren't we? All right. Peace out. I'm going to go take a Moltrin. That's the only thing I do take. I hope you guys get sleep.